Okay, so what's my challenge then? Okay, well we want to show everyone how good the tools are on the website. Mm -hmm. So I would like to go into your kitchen, find three random ingredients, stick them onto the recipe finder, generate a recipe and get you to cook it. <gasps> oh, I'm not the best cook, but my kitchen's just there, on you go. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Right, what have we got here? Pepper and a leek and a cauliflower. Should do us. Right, <laughs> here's what we've got. Do you want to stick them in the recipe finder and we'll see what we get? Okay. And it looks like we're making easy creamy cauliflower risotto. Are you up for the challenge? Oh, it's out now, but the recipe looks yummy. And it looks relatively easy, so let's go give it a go. Right, so we have got our ingredients. So we've got our onion, we've got our mixed herbs, our stock cubes, our risotto rice, our vegetables that Ross has washed for me. Right, so I've chopped up my peppers and my leek, and now I'm going to get on with the onion. It's difficult to chop those without wasting much, isn't it? Do you really find that? Uh, my boyfriend actually used to be a chef, so he taught me a little handy tip. So what you have to do is you cut your onion in half and then you take off the tough layer of skin, which is sometimes a wee bit tricky to do. There we go there. Now we only need half an onion for this recipe, so I'll put that one to one side. So you're cutting off the stalky end. That I'm afraid we have to waste. And then you're just doing smaller little slices, about three quarters of the way up. And then that way it's all held together nicely so that you can cube it really, really easily. Ross, that cauliflower looks like it's probably ready. Let's just turn that off and we can go drain it. Okay, no problem. Right, so I've given that a wee mix around and while that's sautéing in the pan I'm going to get my rice organised. So we're using risotto rice. Now usually you'd use a set of scales, but unfortunately I've only just moved in here and I still don't have a set. If anyone would like to send in one, please do though. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a mug. Now I know that a mug is three quarters, is three quarters of it is for three people, a half is for two people and a quarter is for one. So I'm just going to fill up a halfway cup. Perfect. So I've got all my rice. My onion looks a bit ready. Ross, is that cauliflower done? You can yep. just chop it up and pass me the other vegetables. Now put these vegetables in the pan. Just let them fry away while Ross cuts up the cauliflower. Okay, so my vegetables look almost ready. The onions are translucent, the peppers are softened, and the leeks are starting to separate. You're wanting to see like little rings of leek there, um, so that rather than big chunks. Okay, so now that's ready, I'm just going to add my risotto rice to it, so it's half a cup in there. We're just putting it in just now, just so it can start absorbing the flavours of all the vegetables. Let's just give it a good stir. Now this is the cauliflower that we chopped up earlier, after it was drained from the boiling water. Get it all in there. Once again, just stirring it all in. Don't worry about the larger chunks of cauliflower, as it cooks it'll all start to come into smaller pieces as well. So that's all looking grand. Now I'm just going to add in the stock, as I said before, just keep adding it in gradually when the rice is absorbing it. And we're just going to continue this process for probably about the next 20 minutes or so. As you can see it's absorbed all of our stock, it's all looking plump and ready for action. So I'm just going to finish it off now with a little sprinkling of some dried herbs. If you had fresh it's ideal, but alas I don't have any at the moment. So I'm just going to stir them in. And then the optional creme fraiche we're just going to add. So this is just some leftover creme fraiche that I had with my dinner last night. So I'm just going to pop some of that in. Give it a good wee mix. Now I've used low fat creme fraiche, which is a healthier option. So it's good for your waistline, which I'm always worrying about, especially coming up to summer. I think everyone will agree that looks really yummy. So now it's time to let Ross try some and see if I pass the challenge.
the moment of truth. I'm both uh, nervous and excited. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be perfectly honest. It's really good. Really? Honestly, I like it's it. Really good. So we're past then? You've totally passed the challenge. Well done. Oh, it's I really, really good. Well, it's a good thing too because we've got plenty left in the pan, so I think I'll have some leftovers for lunch tomorrow and I'll be a quick meal to freeze as well. <laughs>